so this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, uh, Moon and as well rising. <clears throat> Weekly general tarot reading, uh, January 26th to February 2nd, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in getting in touch with me for a, a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description the description down below of this video and there you are going to find a, a, a link to my website. So that being said, moving into the reading uh, is going to be uh, seven cards in a row draw and no particular position, no spread whatsoever. So whatever they show, they show it doesn't get any, gen any more general than that and you are warned they can refer to different stuff so it could be all over the place. So the first one here is going to be the Eight of Wands for you guys and uh, the week itself is going to be very dynamic based on this card itself. Now the thing with the Eight of Wands, it is that opportunities are going to be everywhere. However, not all of them are meant for you, all right? So that being said, whenever opportunity uh, reveals in front of you, uh, you need to face it with a clear-headed mind uh, so you don't jeopardize and you don't risk what you have already have been achieved currently career-wise or relationship-wise. Some of the opportunities are meant to just come by and go with the flow while others are meant for you to grasp and this is how you're going to discern which one is yours and which isn't. Now, those which does involve a lot of risks, they're not meant for you to grasp on. Those who does not involve risks whatsoever, well, they do. They are yours to collect. Because the Eight of Wands is a high risk, high reward kind of a card. And uh, I don't know, as an individual, I do prefer to bet on the more... Uh, you know, how can I say it, predictable future rather than something that may deprive you of everything. Again, at the end of the day, it's entirely up to you to decide just for the love of God, don't risk everything you got because at the end of the day, you may end up losing everything you got. Other than that, uh, the Eight of Wands is a, a fantastic card pointing that the week is going to be quite enterprising and is going to be uh, dappled with variety. So you may expect not to catch a boredom in any way possible. The other card here is going to be the sun. And the sun, it's a card pointing to several stuff. Now, the first one, it is that you may kind of like smother certain arguments and disputes that you do have with people around. It is because the sun card marks the burying the hatchets or the tomahawks of war, if you want to say it that way. Therefore, many disagreements are going to be uh, resolved throughout this particular week. The sun card also points that you are going to be quite energetic moving through the week, grasping upon the... Um, opportunities of growth. So this card alone as a follow-up points to the Eight of Wands that it is highly unlikely that you are going to take those un, um, how do I say it, um, unwise decisions of which opportunity to take or not, but rather you are going to be more, uh, um, you will have that affinity toward those opportunities which are giving you basically a, a field to grow on moving forward. Uh, the best thing about the Sun card though, it is that uh, you're gonna be happy with the week itself, okay? So whatever happens around you is gonna make you feel warm, is gonna make you feel happy. The best thing about the card, it is that the happiness of others becomes your happiness and your happiness becomes the happiness of others. So you can expect in relationship wise to have a, a pretty, pretty good time. And the best about the card, it is that whatever situations you do have currently undergoing in your life, they will start unfold, uh, unfold themselves naturally, in a, a natural direction moving on forward. Now, the next card, which is the third, we do have a, a person, Queen of Swords here. And Queen of Swords, they are quite agile type of personality, meaning that they are always in tune with what is going on around. Queen of Swords are those who have a vast amount of experience, poignant experience from the past, meaning that they are highly unlikely to repeat the same mistake twice uh, in a lifetime. And uh, they are a very, 
forewarned, meaning that they have a, a very accurate perception of what is yet to happen and they take the necessary measures in order to a, avoid disaster, ruin, um, uh, break up into relationships, for example, or a crisis into career and so on and so forth. So what that person does for you is helping you to push your things through because the Queen of Swords are those kind of individuals who knows how to push things through, once again, based on their vast amount of poignant experience back in the days. So definitely here with the third card, seeing how a someone comes around, steps up into your life and is helping you to do the heavy lifting, right? The, these um, overwhelming endeavors that you need to tackle with. The fourth card for you, Sagittarius, is going to be the Queen of Cups, or another person it is that we do have at your behalf. And this one that steps in into your week, it kind of plays a different role than the Queen of Swords. Queen of, uh, Queen of Cups is those, this kind of individual who is supporting you emotionally, who is always there to, uh, to lend you or to give you a shoulder to cry on. It is always there to listen to you, to, uh, you know, to the problems that you are coping with, and in generally to the misfortune that you may have been faced back in the days and how you plan to fix that. Uh, Queen of Wands are those kind of uh, people that, how can I say it, they always nurture the feelings of one's heart. Therefore, uh, with this card, we do have someone in that week that is going to nurture your feelings uh, that, uh, and uh, and it's kind of like it's going to recuperate your card, your heart. So uh, everything that I try to say here with this card is, is that uh, although the week is going to be very dynamic in terms of enterprises and in terms of options available, of opportunities, and you are going to be quite under pressure not to make the right, the, the, the wrong move here and to take the right opportunity and so on and so forth, you do have two people there helping you. One is helping you to push through with the right opportunity and the other one is helping you to stabilize yourself emotionally going through this quite of a, a crazy time moving on forward. Now, the fifth card for you is going to be the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is a mark of success. Six of Wands it is where you are reaching a, a milestone where everybody is applauding you for and everybody is recognizing you for the work that you have done. So you can expect in term of, for example, career that you are... Um, how can I say it? You are going to be accoladed for your achievements and for the things that you have been able to develop through. Now, the very least, that card points to a peak of experience that you're going to be very happy of. I mean, you're going to be proud of where you are sitting at, at the mid of this week, because this is just the five card of the of the string here. Now, six of ones points that at that point, uh, you are going to collect the rewards of your effort. And as I said, you are going to be recognized for uh, the things you have done. So that being said, there won't be any ungrateful people around. Also, the Six of Wands may point that so much desired help comes at, uh, comes at your behalf, helping you to push your things through, as we saw with the previous two cards here, the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. But... The, the Six of Wands, it is not a, a card pointing the end of one road, okay? So there are a lot for you to do still. And even though you are to find yourself on the upper hand here, that should not be a prerequisite for you to drop off your guard or to stop performing as flawless as you are, as you are performing up until this moment, career-wise or relationship-wise as well. So um, it does come as a high reward kind of thing, but as well comes up with a, a lot of expectations that are addressed to you as you move forward into the future into um, with uh, with this card six of uh, six of wands. Now the next one here, which is this uh, this sixth card. It is the sixth card. Yeah. So that will be the Tree of Pentacles. Tree of Pentacles in that particular case, it kind of refers to the oceans of options available that you can go forward after you have collected the rewards and the recognition for the job well done throughout this week. So I do believe, guys, truth be told, 
that this is going to be mainly career focused week where you are performing flawlessly in there and everybody is kind of admiring you and uh, it is highly likely that um, I a question not question but a matter for a promotion maybe a reason a matter for raising your uh, salary for example and so on and so forth and here we do have a, a cooperation a an ocean an option of options available how you can capitalize on those reward on those rewards how you can capitalize on the influence that you have won for yourself throughout this particular week Three of Pentacles, it is also a card saying that you are going to receive the help you need and the support you need to further your development either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. It is a card of negotiations also and it is a card of, how can I say it, um, well-synchronized efforts in between you and different people. That being said, this card may mark uh, the, the synchron in between you and your husband, for example, or in between you and your wife, for example, where together you are getting on the same page. It's all about that with the Tree of Pentacles to get on the same page, to kind of have the same goal and to be able to utilize the same options available with the people that are involved into that particular uh, situation. Nonetheless, uh, with the Tree of Pentacles, you can expect by the end of the week to work with a lot of people and to have a very good relationship with them, either business-wise or either romantic-wise. It is where a lot of things are going to be said in between you two, what you like, what you dislike, you know, how you see itself, uh, how you see yourself and uh, with that endeavor into the future, how these these people or that person see themselves um, with you, for example, in the future, and that way you're going to find, it, that, that way there are going to be quite some very meaningful conversations in between you two, and definitely a common ground can and should be reached with, uh, with those cards. And finally, what we do have, it is the Five of Swords here, as the last one. And that could play out in a, a couple of ways here. So Five of Swords, first of all, it is a card pointing that at the end of the week, you're going to have a lot of influence and a lot of power. I would say that you're going to have the power to get the things you want, okay, with the Five of Swords. But the Five of Swords always reminds you or reminds one that comes for a reading for how far they can go without hurting anybody around. Because the Five of Swords is a sign of when one abuses with that power, when one becomes ruthless and it kind of um, overpass or goes beyond the limits, the limits and the capabilities where uh, which that um, endeavor or an enterprise has for a uh, happy ending and it kind of surpasses the point of breaking and ultimately at the end, yes, you get what you want, but instead of being a sweet victory, you kind of have it as a, a bitter one, okay? So all that momentum and all those rewards and recognition that you are going to get throughout the week and that natural unfoldment of everything you do and the happiness and all that may intoxicate you to a point where you forget yourself, you forget where you are going, you forget what that thing is all about. And I will, and I will give you an example here, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and for example, in your marriage, because things are going on so well, you forget yourself into it and you start hurting, unintentionally that is, your partner with the Five of Swords. Another thing with the Five of Swords is about trust issues, all right? You may be abused in a trust field, I don't know how to say it, like uh, someone takes advantage of um, you being extremely trustful to the people around. And uh, at that point, by the end of the week, you have to be very careful with whom you are associating yourself with because not everybody is going to have a pure intentions. So that being said, Sagittarius, it's a pretty good week for you guys. It does look like that um, you're going to have a lot to work with here. All comes to that, uh, the choice of what you are going to work with. As we said at the start of the reading, not everything is meant for you, all right? So be objective about it and do not um, 
over uh, and kind of like do not overgo or I don't know how to say it surpass maybe your limits and your capabilities because at the end of the day uh, the price you will have to pay for your victory may be more than you actually know. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.